Baruch Hashem, that the wonderful Jewish calendar is bringing us towards the wonderful days of Sukkot. The Sukkot is a holiday that began in the desert when we were just gathered by Hashem to become a nation. And He protected us in the wilderness of the desert from the sun and the drought and the heat to hide under the clouds of honor that were protecting our nation while we were in the naked, hot desert thousands of years ago. And since that time until today, every year we are celebrating those holy days as a memory for that amazing kindness of the Creator and the Maker of the world that shone upon us His unconditional love and His mercy that is always above nature and removing and breaking through the curtains of nature to change nature and to show that there is a Maker to the universe that can set the world to function and work as He wish. And as a sign for that amazing light of His mercifulness and kindness, we celebrate every year and reminding ourselves by entering into the Sukkah that there is a Maker, that it's in His power to change the world against the forces of nature that are forcing the world to a certain direction to go up the hill and for only love and kindness and goodness to be seen in the world. The Zohar Kadosh is calling the Sukkah Tzila de Mehemnuta, the shade of faith, means that the wings of Hashem that are covering and protecting us are blessing us with a unique light of faith, of emuna. And when a person is entering into the Sukkah, it's as if he enters under the clouds of honor, under the wings of faith, and he's being blessed by that. And that's why we are also calling and inviting the holy guests, the Ushpizin, that are the main shepherds of our nation and of the whole wide world. And each and every one of them is representing a certain aspect and a unique light of faith and leadership that he lead and shine towards us, his people, to follow Hashem in a unique and special way, one in strength, one in power, one in love, one in kindness, one with prayers, one with Torah learning, one with music, one with the sword. Everyone revealed the qualities that through them, with the blessings of his soul, that with them he served Hashem with all his might. And they are shading that light upon us for us to be inspired from them and for us to enjoy what they gained and earned in their lifetimes under the wings of the Sukkah that is shining and reflecting that light of faith that is special to each and every individual to connect himself from his own point of truth and from the center point of his heart to the Creator in the present time. And the Creator is huge and great enough for all of us in the same time to be very different one from each other and also to aim up and to reach Hashem in unity, even though we're very different, even though we are very, very unique and special and not 
like our even own siblings, even not in the same house, very, very different one from each other. But still, the sky are so wide that you cannot point up and not to aim to the sky. And Hashem is way larger and greater than the sky. And the heavens are greater than the physical sky that are spread as a sheet above us. And the Creator and the Maker of the world lives inside of our hearts, inside of the depths of our hearts, and above us, covering us and filling us from within. And therefore, when we are under the schach, the roof of the temporary structure of the sukkah, and we're getting into the sukkah and being covered and wrapped by it, we can see and enjoy and be inspired in that deep understanding that the Creator is covering us from 360 degrees, from all directions. He's above us, protecting us from the sky and from the sides and also from the ground. He is our stability and our solid ground. He is the inner light of our souls that are reviving and filling us with light from within. And He is all the reflections and all the lights that are shining and inspiring us from outside. For us to attach ourselves to Hashem in faith, like we said and mentioned, that the Zohar Kadosh is calling the Sukkah, Tzila de Mehemnuta, the shade or wings of faith, is by simple prayer. Because prayer, an individual conversation with our Creator, is the greatest evidence for our faith. That's the expression of faith. When you believe, you pray. When you believe, you talk. If you believe that a doctor can help you, you're going to call your doctor. You believe in his power. If you believe that that person is a good friend of yours, when you're in trouble, you're going to call that friend because you believe in your friendship. When you call Hashem, it's an evident for your belief in Him. So if we want to keep and to use the blessing of these holy days of Sukkot is through prayer, through individual prayers, to talk to Hashem like we talk to our best friends, get inside the sukkah or without the sukkah, talk to Hashem from your heart, speak to Him, speak to the Creator, ask your needs, praise Him, thank Him, and ask for more, for all the salvations and for the complete redemption that is so needed for all of us. May Hashem shine His unique light upon us all and heal us and protect us, stabilize and build us and redeem us completely. Us and all our loved ones with us. Amen. Can you hear that song? Thank you.